Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I introduce you? Introduce yourself. So, first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Anup. I am from Andhra Pradesh, but all my education happened in Hyderabad. Speaking about education, I have completed my master's degree uh, with a computer, computer science sheet in the year 2023 with a 71% and also my graduation in the year 2021 with a 78% and uh, I would like to mention my technical skills. Uh, I have good knowledge in HTML, CSS and JavaScript which is uh, for the front end and also Core Java with the, which is for the back end and SQL is for the database and I have a fundamental knowledge in uh, web designing also. Other than these technical skills, I am a portrait artist, uh, table tennis player and uh, photo editor also. Uh, to showcase my skills, I have done my projects. Uh, for the front end, I have done a portfolio. Uh, in the port Java, I have done a CUI application which is called Mitel application, which is for the SIM card subscriber. Uh, to describe about these projects, uh, portfolio tells something about me. Uh, which is kind of a CV which uh, tells about my education, what are the skills I have, what are the services I provide, what are the projects and what are my past uh, experience also. Uh, then this CV application which is for the SIM card uh, uh, subscriber. Uh, basically, we, we give services like mobile research, uh, converting postpaid to prepaid and prepaid to postpaid. Uh, paying bills, uh, checking his profile, or package validation, like, like this. And then work experience, uh, work experience I've done, I have worked as an intern with a full stack development, uh, which is with the uh, IEEE boundary section, where this is like a sneak, sneak pit for me into corporate, basically into the IT field, which uh, give me an experience of a teamwork. Basically, you might have a hundred skills, but if you are not a team player, then you are not fit for the organization. And then, I'm thinking that I'm, I, I am capable to work with the organization. Very good. Thank you. Uh, let us discuss about Java now. Uh, can you explain why Java is platform independent? So, Java has a byte code uh, and it, has, it is having a JVM. This JVM is platform dependent, but this class file, JVM is responsible for executing this byte code. So, can you explain uh, what are the iterative statements we have, looping statements? There are three looping statements, uh, for loop, while loop and do while loop. There is only minor difference between these three. Uh, for loop is used when you are having a condition like, you know beforehand uh, you have to loop these statements this many times, this execution has to happen this many times, but uh, in while loop, you don't know when to stop. So, in this kind of situation, you can use while loop. But in do while loop, while loop and do while loop are, are same kind of uh, looping statements. But in while loop, if if the condition you given is true only, it will execute. But in do while loop, whether you have a true condition or false condition, it will at least Execute for the one. Can you explain the difference between static and non-static members? Static members, uh, basically, static is used for uh, memory management. Uh, if you are, if these are static members, you don't need to create any object for it. You can directly call it uh, with the class name. But for the non-static members, uh, you have you have to create an object which is uh, for every, for every ob object there will be a memory allocation so uh, too much of 
for, for instance, memory is allocated to every object you create. So this is what it is uh, static is called a memory, a memory map. What is method See, overriding? Method overriding is a concept of polymorphism. Basically, it is also called as uh, runtime polymorphism. <coughs> it happens between a uh, child class and parent class. Uh, if child class and parent class are having the same method name and same parameters, uh, when you are trying to call a child class method, then parent class method will be overriding. Uh, uh, what is the difference between final, finally, and finalize? Finalize is uh, a garbage collector, which is a method of object. <laughs> Whichever me memory is not in use, a garbage collector will clean the memory. Final is a uh, non access modifier, which uh, tells the JVM that uh, the member uh, that variables which are declared as final will not be updated uh, will be constant uh, the methods which is specified as uh, final will not be overridden and uh, classes cannot be inherited can you tell me the difference between abstract classes and interfaces Abstract class and interface, uh, there is a minor difference. Uh, in abstract class, you can create both the abstract methods and the concrete methods, but in interface, you have to create only the abstract methods. Uh, interfaces are by default, you can, um, it's called uh, it's abstract and uh, the, the data numbers are static final by default. Tell me what is an exception? Exception is uh, basically a abnormal situation. Uh, to continue, uh, uh, there is, uh, for, for example, there is 10 lines of code. You are having an abnormal situation in the run at the line number 5, then JVM will stop there itself. Uh, it, will, it won't uh, go for the 6 to 10. So, uh, if you are handling that exception, then you can continue with the normal flow of the project. What is a custom exception? Custom, uh, custom is a user defined exception. Uh, whenever user thinks of uh, his own exception, he can create uh, his own exception with the throw keyword. What are wrapper classes? classes uh, when wrapper classes are used to pass uh, one data type into one another data type. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay.